Shavi. Okay, I have been in costume since I can remember, but actually professionally cosplaying, I've been doing it seriously probably since like 2005. Well, this costume is supposed to represent Yomigami from the video game Okami. And Yomigami is a Japanese dragon god within the game and folklore. This particular version is actually a fan art from the artist Cowslip. She's also very well known for her Dynasty Warriors Pokemon series that she made online that went viral. And uh, the costume, I love it. I love the colors, red and the white. My plushie is actually from Okami Den, and I lucked up here at Otakon and found her. So it was a really nice uh, mesh. Um, as far as like a breakdown of my costume, the horns I made, uh, the headdress and the hairpiece uh, were made by Little Heaven, and she actually did basically all of the costume. Um, I work with her on many different cosplays, and she's a great artist, and I love her to death. Starfire got pretty popular last year, so um, I was really, really proud and happy about that. I actually got credit from the artist George Perez, who was the original creator. I was told that he saw me at New York Comic Con, and his words were, that's what I was thinking of when I was making that character. So, pretty happy about that. Plus, I won quite a few awards from that one. I've also done uh, the Black Cat Symbiote Queen from Spider-Man Web of Shadows. That one's a really, really fun one. Um, I wasn't too big into the whole like scaring people, but I could see why people like it. It's, it's really uh, ingenious the way they have like the, the black mask material so no one can see your face. I enjoyed that a lot. I also have done original characters. I have uh, my Alunus. She's a water nymph. She goes from land to sea. And she's also a bunny hunter part-time. And she has another uh, sister character, Vala, the demon summoner. That one, um, her royal gown is more of a Rococo or Sakizo-inspired outfit. So I've done uh, other characters, not just ones that are like from video games. I've done Felicia also. Um, I'll be Cleopatra tomorrow as a Gorgon. So I'm going to be a big golden snake. <laughs> so I cosplay across the scale. It could be from anime, from manga, from video games. It doesn't really matter. Whatever inspires me that I think looks awesome, that's what I want to implement and recreate. wasn't ever a subject matter in mind to me. Um, I think it really started to take a lot of effect once people really started to notice that, I guess, I look really good at what I cosplay. It's unfortunate that due to someone's skin color, people think that there's a, an inability for you to cosplay any character. Like your skin color is your skin color, it doesn't matter. It's not in a hindrance, it's not like a bonus, it just is what it is, like we're all human. So I think if people could stop focusing on that and focus on what cosplay is, costume play, not racial play, not gender play, costume play, then I think everyone would be able to enjoy themselves a lot better without putting obstacles in front of people for no reason. So 
Ever since my Starfire, I think particularly, like that really made a lot of waves because I'm a plus size cosplayer of that, then I'm a plus size cosplayer of color. So I was just happy because as a bonus, I didn't have to paint myself orange. So there you go. Sometimes it kind of works, people. Don't feel bad about it. It's, it's great. Just be yourself and enjoy what you do.